I am in front of Candle 79 and I'm thrilled because everybody has recommended this place to me and I hear great things about it. So let's go inside and get... This is definitely the, the most gourmet vegan restaurant I've ever been to. The, everything is just perfect. Atmosphere is great. The staff is fantastic. Very attentive. Beautiful, clean, great decor, warm. It's just fantastic. This place is blow, blowing me away. So we have nachos, which are made with the Daya cheese, my favorites. And then we have some chimichurri made with seitan and some dumplings. And then we have their specialty cocktail, which is the French 79. Let's see, I'll start with the nachos. Wow, these chips. I can honestly say these are the best nachos I've ever had. Nachos are typically kind of like a cheap food. You know, you get some chips, you throw some cheese on top of it. These, somehow they've made the nachos gourmet. This is my first time trying Daya cheese, and it looks, I, I can't even really describe how amazing it looks. And, just the whole chip is covered in goodness, so I'm about to try it. <laughs> Honestly, you would really would not be able to tell the difference between um, its appearance and the flavor. You really wouldn't have any second guesses if it was vegan cheese or not. Chimmy cherry here. Lots of citrus flavor in those. Really great texture, perfectly cooked. Very meaty texture, actually. Um, Manager was saying that this is a great transition dish. And lastly, the dumplings, which have some nice greens on them. These are very, very good, and they're very um, reminiscent of a typical Asian dumpling. The, the flavors are fantastic. Lots of ginger. This is the seitan piccata. It looks beautiful. And I'm sitting here across from Francesca and Bart, and we're having an amazing conversation, which is perfect complement to the food. So creamy, and the capers is just that I love capers. So if you like capers, this is a great, yes, great. that's a big breakthrough. Because yeah, a lot of people don't like capers. Mm. See, if these are the polenta fries. Yes. Uh, wow, I love French fries, but they're not so good for you. So mm -hmm. this is a nice, healthier mm -hmm. alternative. Mm. It's like a cross between a French fry and like a corn cake or some exactly. cornbread or right. something. Right. The beet salad. Yes, it's a roasted beet salad and the beautiful nut cheese. From our local farmers. Mmm, so many different flavors. I love the vinaigrette because of the face. Yeah, the vinaigrette's fantastic. Tempeh, a lot of people have a bad impression of it because it tends to be kind of bitter. So this is a, a dish to get if you're not really um, familiar with tempeh or not, you have know, had bad experiences with it, apparently. And it has Brussels sprouts, which I love. Another a unique in that no, sense. I Most like people it. don't I like Brussels them. sprouts. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bitter at all. I wouldn't even guess that that was tempeh. Because it's also, tempeh tends to be a little tough mm -hmm. and crunchy, but this is just so smooth. And the flavors are just like unbelievable. Each dish. Hellero State Chardonnay. I love Chardonnay. And, um, we love this family. Um, it's a family run vineyard. They are organic to the max. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, when you're organic, you have to come up with creative ways to control the pests in the vineyard. So uh, they have uh, owls that live in the trees that control the pests at night. No way. <laughs> and they have wasps that eat the bugs that eat the grapes. So it's not exactly wow. a vegan experience. I know. <laughs> it, it smells like vanilla to me. It yeah. Like oak on the wow. wow. Okay. Well, you can see why it's a more complete dining experience. Oh too, my gosh. Yeah. Vegans like to have I'm fun too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Vegans do like to have fun. My start is a biodynamic one. And biodynamic takes the um, idea of organic uh, a step closer to the stars, we like to say. Yeah. It's really like the mists of Avalon meet the farmer's almanac. Wow. <laughs> so you have a lot of mysticism involved in the growing and a lot of naturalism. Uh, and just a real connection to the earth. Beautiful. Uh, biodynamic farms are self-contained entities, and the farmers view their grapes and their earth as living beings and don't bring anything in from the outside. Um, some of them keep herds of animals for their own manure. Um, it's a beautiful way of farming, and it really yeah. harkens back to our ancestral way of farming. And this Pinot Noir, you can taste the delicious um, berry flavors in the earth in the glass. Mm. And um, my Sarah Jamshi uh, is named after a Persian prince who could see the earth or the world in his wine glass. Wow. And <laughs> you might be able to see it after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
that it does smell like berries. Your... I can taste the peppers in that as well. Oh, oh yeah. here's the chef. <laughs> Oh, the ice cream is spectacular. It's a great combination because you've got this light ice cream and then you've got the refreshing banana and then you've got this fudgy brownie. And this is actually a raw dessert. And there are so many layers to this. Oh my gosh, the flavors change as you're swallowing them. Oh my gosh, this cream. Wow, I just can't get over this. This is fantastic because it's like, it's raw, so it's healthy. And it's just like, unlike anything else I've ever had. That's seriously incredible. It's as if it comes alive in your mouth. It is so, so amazing. The textures, the flavors. I would say, have to say overall, this has been an incredible eating experience here at Candle 79. We just felt so welcome. And the food is in a class of its own. It's really out there and beautifully presented and of course the flavors are unlike any other vegan food that I've ever had um, and it would be really nice to see other restaurants following in their footsteps. The most memorable would have been um, the appetizers, the skewered, um, what was it, seitan? Those I really loved. It was almost like a swordfish sort of, sort of texture. The desserts I think are also another highlight. I mean everything else was great too but um, these two desserts here are just really phenomenal. I'm Bart. Potenza. My restaurant, I, I own with Joy Pearson, my wonderful partner in life and in business for 22 years now. They call me the founder, and I love that. Of course, my age kind of gives that away, but over 25 years ago, I started the what we call the original healthy candle. Candle Cafe and now Candle 79 is on board with something called Green Restaurant Association, second highest rated restaurant in America for being green. Besides being organic and vegan, we are also seasonal. The local farmers, we happily here in New York, we've met them at the green markets, and then we build relationships with them, and they deliver right to the door, literally. I mean, you couldn't get more local than that. One of the gifts I can offer people who are worrying about how they're transi transitioning to a vegan diet, once you do that and your body gets cleaned up the way they do, and you feel so much better, I mean, I haven't had, in 30 years, I think I've had maybe one minor cold, as far as that goes. So a lot of this stuff going on about the health issues in the country, as you probably know and your viewers know, it's all about people are not taking care of themselves. Right. And we're paying the price that, for that. Yeah. I really, you can see, I get a little mad about that one. Mm -hmm. And the obesity, do I need to say more about that? <laughs> but uh, the truth be told though, it, it's a big investment to do this. This is not cheap living this way, whether right. you do it at the restaurant level the whole foods that you, yeah. you are making an investment in your health yeah. up front Absolutely. and hopefully not paying it to doctors down right. the road. I'm Francesca McGarren and I'm the manager of Candle 79. The fact that we're vegan is of course important to us but um, it's this also comes after the the important part of it which is just to be a fine beautiful place where people can come and enjoy delicious food. Uh, many of our guests are not vegetarian or vegan most of them are not and they're here because they care about the environment um, they're interested in eating more organic or they just love the food, and we like to say we like the food to speak for itself. If we can teach along the way, that's sort of the icing on the vegan cake. Um, you know, and people do make the journey with us at times. We've had many guests who uh, started skeptical, or dragged here by a son or a daughter or a friend, and grew to love the food so much that they're now regulars. And um, eventually, um, they make changes in their lives um, that are absolutely life-altering. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful to see that, um, but once again we're here so that people can feel comfortable, whether they're vegan, vegetarian, omnivorous, curious, it doesn't matter, um, as long as they enjoy what we do, enjoy the food, which is all beautiful, local, sustainable food. This is one of the best vegan experiences I've ever had, and it was perfect for a winter's day in New York, but it would be perfect any time of the year, and if you come to New York City, you must come here. Now, while the menu is a little pricey, it's definitely worth it. You will not regret spending any amount of money here. I didn't need to go anywhere else in New York City, and I can't wait to come back.